Hello, good morning, good afternoon, whatever time of the day it is for you. We are going to do another directed drawing because I had so many students tell me that they really enjoyed doing it. So I'm going to do another one today and we are going to draw a mallard duck. Do you remember the difference between a mallard duck um, that is male, a boy, versus a mallard duck that's female? Yeah, so a female mallard duck is all brown where the male mallard duck has that green head. So today we're going to draw a male mallard duck. So the first thing I want you to do is get a piece of paper and a pencil and we will get started. Okay, we're gonna start with a circle, not in the middle of your paper, but on the side. And then from there in the middle of the circle, we're gonna go out and then around and up. So the circle and then a half circle underneath it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and draw two webbed feet. So I'm gonna draw one line down, one line out, and then kind of like some three zigzags and then back up. And let's do another one, line down, over, so that's like a backwards L, and then three zigzags and up. We need to draw a wing. So we're gonna draw, it's gonna go out and in. Now this is what we call a profile. So we only see half of the mallard um, duck. So we don't have to do two wings. We're only gonna do the one because we only see half. For example, if I were to turn like this, you don't see both of my eyes, you only see one. So that's called a profile. Next, we're going to do a stripe. So right by the head, we're gonna do a line around and the beak is going to be a round, like, like a smile, but then in, up, down, over. That one takes, a, that one's a little tricky. So if you need to pause it, you can go ahead and do that. But I'm gonna do two little lines in the nose, which let me zoom in so you can see that. Can you zoom in? No? Okay, if you look closely, I just did two little lines right there. An eye and an eye. one and two up at the top. And lastly, even though it is a profile picture, we are going to incorporate that last wing, but the only way we're gonna do it is we're gonna have it go up and kind of down. So you can see it from the back, but you can't really see the entire thing. So it's kind of like it's sticking out. All right, so for the mallard duck, because it's a male, a male mallard duck, the head is going to have to be what color? Yep, green. So today for coloring, I'm going to need green, yellow, brown, and orange. All right, let's get to coloring. All right, I did not point out, but I wanted to note that this part right here, I left white. So, um, as because that's kind of like the collar. All right, now I took my nonfiction reader that I had earlier and read, and I looked for an interesting fact. What was something that you learned about mallard ducks? Um, one thing that I learned that I thought was pretty interesting was when we listened to Make Way for Ducklings, Mr. Mallard and Mrs. Mallard were um, helping with the ducklings. Um, Mrs. Mallard did a little bit more because Mr. Mallard went away, but um, they still were there. But in the nonfiction reader, it told me that the drakes, the male, the dads, um, they have no contact with their ducklings. So after, when they're born, the, the male mallard ducks don't ever even meet their ducklings. So I'm gonna write that on the bottom that 
drakes. So drake, I'm gonna start with uppercase D. A drake is the name of a male duck. Drakes, finger space between, because we wanna make sure we have a gift. Have no contact with the ducklings. So that was my interesting fact, but there were a lot of other interesting facts in the book. What was something that you learned? Write about that right here and then send a picture on Class Dojo to your classroom teacher. Good job.